Hello, Flosstube. I'm Heather. Link is my homeboy. Today is Monday, May 24th, 2021, and this is Flosstube number 39. Thank you for joining me. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you checking out my channel, and if you do like what you see, then please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you are a returning viewer, then welcome back. Thank you for sticking around. I appreciate all the support. Um, so, it's been a couple weeks since I last recorded. Um, I was going to record on Friday and then things just didn't work out. So um, I'm recording today. <laughs> um, kind of weird because I was like, uh, Monday? Yeah. <laughs> so um, got quite a bit to talk about because of course it's May. So it's mania. And uh, let's get into it. Uh, life updates. Uh, hubby and I got our second vaccine. Uh, we are both Moder we, we both got the Moderna. Um, that second shot was a bitch. Um, I think my arm hurt for a week afterwards. The first 48 hours for me were pretty awful. Um, I had chills and probably a fever, but I never actually took my temperature and body aches and joint pain and restless limbs like I just could not get comfortable or anything um so we got ours on let me look at the calendar the 12th yeah the 12th and so that that was a Wednesday that night we we were both miserable um now, my husband was able to get a few days off work so that we could both kind of recuperate from it. He definitely got better quicker than I did. Probably about the first 24 to 36 hours were awful for him. But the first 48 to 72 were pretty awful for me. Um, and our sleep has been kind of off kilter. And no matter how much sleep we get, we're still tired when we get up. Um, and easily worn out. So I don't know if that still affects from the vaccine or if just because we haven't, um, uh, we haven't really gotten out of our two week window t for the efficacy or, um, I don't know. What, what's the word I'm looking for? You're probably shouting it at me. Um, but we haven't gotten through the two weeks yet. So um, Wednesday will obviously be two weeks and hopefully things start to get a little better after that because so tired. Um, the weather here has definitely turned summer, which is pretty typical for Indiana. Um, usually about mid to late May, we start getting the, the 80 degree temperatures and, you know, lots of sun, um, start getting the thunderstorms and everything, which we're supposed to have thunderstorms, I think, on Wednesday. So, um, but it's like high 80s here today. So I don't know what that is in, I don't know what that is in, in Celsius. You'll have to look it up. I'm sorry. Um, but other than that, uh, life has pretty much been uh, boring, <laughs> the usual. Um, but yeah, so you're here for stitching. Let's talk about stitching. Um, I've got, I've got... A little bit of most things. Um, I don't have any FFOs, which um, if you're unfamiliar, FFO means fully finished object or finally finished object in my case usually. Um, it's when you've taken a finished stitch and turned it into something for display like framing or these little things up here. Um, haven't done anything anything like that in the past couple of weeks. Um, I've intended to and just haven't gotten around to it. I need some supplies and I gotta go shopping and it'll happen. Um, but I do have some FOs, which are finished objects, which means I have finished stitching them. I have whips, which are works in progress. That means something that was already being worked on when I last saw you. And I have plenty of new starts because of mania. <laughs> so let's get into it here. First up, I want to go through our under 1000 subs club. This was the brainchild of me and Sarah of our Stitching Kingdom and Carrie of Carrie and Stitches, who has been booted from the club because she reached her thousand subscribers. Yay! Hooray, Carrie! So exciting. Um, it's really exciting to see people hit that milestone within within the time that we've been using the hashtag. So 
Um, and again, I'm always taking suggestions for who to check out. Um, I've got quite a list to go check out. I'm still getting through some of the people I already watch before suggestions were thrown at me. So uh, this time I promised you four of them and I do have four to talk about. So first up is Katie of Katie Did Stitches. Um, so she took a little bit of a hiatus. I think life just got busy and she has recently started back up. So, um, go give her, go give her a, a look. Um, I like, she stitches, um, she's, she just finished, um, words, Peacock Keeper from Lindy Stitches and, um, seeing hers finished has really made me want to get mine going and get it done because I absolutely love that piece. Um, next up we have Christy of Christy's Corner Needlework. Now hers is not a strictly um, cross stitch channel. Um, it's She's a multi-crafter and right now for Mania she is taking the a little piece of Lindy Stitch's Hedgehog House and she is actually quilting it. So um, definitely check that out. It's awesome. It's amazing. Um, I want to also talk about Mary, the X-Ray X-Stitcher. She is local to me, so um, I know her in person, and she's she's a lovely person. She stitches a lot of big projects, a lot of full coverages. Um, she's also working on a um, uh, like a periodic table. And um, it's really cool to see that coming together. And last but certainly not least, I want to talk about Tara, the 805 Stitcher. Um, if that sounds familiar, it's because she makes project bags. And do I have one of hers right here? I do. So um, I've bought quite a few of her project bags. But she does the vinyl front project bags. Um, and so I've... I've got plenty of hers in my stash <laughs> and they're all, I mean, they're just, they're exceptionally well-made. Corners are nice. The, the lines are straight. The zippers are in there nice and good. I mean, they're just, they're well interfaced. I love her bags. Um, and she does a floss tube and I know she's kind of sporadic as far as when she updates. Um, but every time she updates, it's a good watch. So I will of course link all four of those ladies below, um, as well as, as well as Sarah and, and Carrie, like I always do. All right, so actually into the stitching now. So let's go with our finishes first. Now, this was a new start and a finish since last time I saw you. This is Beekeeper from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, I'm doing a full Frosted Pumpkin Mania, and this one is done. It was a very quick stitch. Um, this is done, there we go, that's the color of the fabric. It's called Scorpio from Sparklies. It's a 18 count, Ada, I think. And um, I did some called for and the, let's see, the flowers I used a, I think it was actually, I think it might've been a Sparklies floss. Um, it was a two-tone and I just kind of fussy stitched. So um, this is all part of one skein, but then I just did this top part in purple and the bottom part in the lighter purpley blue. And then the parts where they called for like a Krynic metallic, I just did uh, I just did some white etoile. You can kind of see some of the sparkles there. And I'm sorry, but from far away, that looks like a jar of poop. So this is the poop jar. Can't unsee it. I'm sorry. If I have to have it ruined, it has to be ruined for everybody. <laughs> uh, next up, this is also another start and finish. This is Pinata Party. And can you see that? I decided to be crazy and go over one on 32 count for it. Um, and this is a piece of it's a it's a random. Oh, that's there you go. There's the color. It's a piece that I got from like an ornament or a grab bag from Mystic Fabrics. It doesn't have a name. And um, I did pretty much exactly none of the called for colors. Like white and black were it. Uh, the rest of them, I took this Coloris color from DMC and then matched 
all my floss in there. And then it was called for to have uh, like the blue that's in here was supposed to be metallic. And even one strand of metallic was just way too much. So I opted not to use it. And then um, the, the little like blanket, I did some satin stitching. And I did some long stitch for the little reins there. So super cute. Don't know exactly how I'm going to finish it, but it'll get finished eventually. Uh, I also finished the June installment of the Snowflower Diaries um, Joyful World Sal. And I need to get moving on some of these because uh, I don't, I currently don't have any in progress and um, I need to get seven of them done because I skipped May. Not really for any reason other than um, I just needed to use this for like a prompt in a group. Um, and I need to do May and then July through the end of the year. So I need to get a couple of these started, but uh, very happy. The bees wings were called to be lazy daisies and I tried a few times, got frustrated and gave up. And so I just backstitched them. And this is um, 20 Count Ada in Purple Passion. It's either a Wichelt or a Zweigert. I don't remember. Probably Wichelt just because it's kind of crunchy. Which doesn't bother me any. Uh, and this is another. This was a new start and a finish. I actually just finished it this morning. I started it yesterday. Uh, this is a freebie that we were gifted at StitchCon 2019. It is from um, Heart and Hand. Um, and I didn't use any of the called for colors. And this is on a piece of 14 count oatmeal Ada. Um, I don't know if it's available anywhere else. I, I did a quick Google and I couldn't find it. So, um, but yeah. I was doing a little bit of a kit up this weekend because uh, I was feeling a little down. So kidding things makes me happy. And that was in the back of something that I had pulled out of my binders to kit up. And I was like, let's go ahead and stitch that right now. All right. Uh, next up, these are new starts that I have not finished. First up is With Love from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This was a chart that they did um, early 2020 to um, brace funds for some of the wildfire relief for the Australian wildfires that were going on. And there's my start. Uh, most of the, I think the koala itself is done, except I need to backstitch the little claws on hand and I need to finish the crown and then the, the wreath of, um, uh, I had the name of the flower and now I've forgotten it. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, had the wreath of that around there. So this will be a cute little thing to hang on my wall once I get it done. Okay, next up, um, I started Frankie from Squad Ghouls. Drake still hasn't been started yet. And I got a pretty good bit done on this one. So the border is being done in a um, a hand dyed by Rolanda Halloween silk from 2019. And then I'm just doing the called for DMC for the actual monster. And this is done on some 32 count black opal from Mystic Fabrics. Oh, and this, this fabric was a, an Ada, it's a, it's either a 16 or an 18 count Ada, um, from Mystic Fabrics from a grab bag. And then also from the Squad Ghouls, I have started on Wanda. Zoe has not been started yet. And Wanda is also being stitched on a piece of, <coughs> excuse me, on a piece of 32 count Lugana in Black Opal from Mystic Fabrics and another one of those Halloween um, silks for the border. And the other two are being done on a different 
fabric, but they're all using some of those hand dyed by Rolanda silks. So next up we have berry picking. So berry picking and ice cream licking. And this is being done on a piece of 18 count Ada in red berry sorbet from Sparkly's. So I got the square and I got some of the scallops done. So uh, next up, this is, I will have to insert a picture because I don't have the cover photo printed out. This is Hugs and Kisses from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And it says Hugs and Kisses and Candy Wishes. And this is being done on a piece of, I don't know if it's 14 or 16, I think. Based on the size of the stitches, I think it's 14 count uh, Cherub Ada from Picture This Plus. It's a really nice yellow, pink. it kind of looks like a, like, if I were to name it, I would have called it Pink Lemonade. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And last but certainly not least, this is my newest new start, which I just started this morning. This is Strawberry Froyo Party from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And so it's still in my hoop and got, you'll deal with it. And this is being stitched on a piece of, I believe it's 32 count Opal Aid, or Opal Lugana uh, from Hand Dye by Rolanda. She did a, she did like special Halloween ornament packs last year. And this is one of them. It, it didn't completely scream Halloween to me, but it does kind of look like like melted ice cream or something. So it kind of, it kind of fit in my opinion. But yeah, finally got to start on that one. That's the one I was supposed to start, I think on Saturday or maybe Friday and didn't get around to it. So um, I still have one, two, three, four. I think I still have four left to start. I'll just pull them out and take a look here. I think I still have I think I still have four left because I still have two of the ghouls, Lucky, and stretch. Okay, so four. Yeah, I still have. Okay, so stretch those legs, which says stretch those legs and find some eggs. I always want to say hide some eggs. Uh, the other two of the ghouls, the, uh, Zoe the zombie and, um, Drake the, the vampire. And then I also have Lucky to start. So I've got four more to start, and uh, before the 31st. So you'll see all four of those next time. All right. So on to whips. So we've got Halloween Ouija from Tiny Modernist. And so I finally got to start in that middle block there because I've done all the border and I've done all the little motifs inside, except for the yes and no here because I'm I'm not actually making mine a Ouija board because that's bad juju. And uh, so I, I'm taking out all the Ouija stuff about it. And this is being stitched on a piece of 32 count Jobelin in Tombstone from Color and Cotton. Um, it, is, it was from the Halloween box from 2019? Maybe it was 2018. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah. So got started on, let's fold this down so you can see the actual area I worked on. And so I've got one of those little coffin sarcophagus things there, uh, some of the brick wall and some of the actual house. Um, and this part here is being stitched in a Mo sale called, which is brew maybe? Witching Hour. I'll put the name on the screen. Uh, and then this is being stitched in a color in cotton, uh, a really dark gray. I'm not sure what it is. I'll put the name on the screen. 
Um, and then this is um, 310 and 535, which is actually called for, I believe. So, uh, so yeah, I've still got plenty to do on the house. Um, but, you know, it'll get there when it gets there. And then all the, all the border colors there, those are all done in some Mo's Sale um, Halloween flosses that she did. Except for this one. I think this one's called Amy Pond. And then I added some, uh, I think it's Absinthe from Weeks Dye Works into some of the places there. Just for little pops of color. Because I didn't like the, the monochrom monochromatic look. So... All right, next step, we have the Light World map from Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. This is a free pattern found on Sprite Stitch. I know that there are several that you can buy on Etsy and where, wherever else. And we are well into the third page. So I've got like all the clouds done on that page. And starting to get into some of the Lost Woods here and some of the, um, some of the Death Mountain. So, it's been a lot. It takes a lot of time to switch from color to color, like these color blocks here. So, like, when I'm going from, from clouds down to the green and brown, it's like, okay, tie this one off, start this one, tie this one off, start this one. So, it's a little slow going. But I am still on track to have this half finished by the end of the year. Um, I need to have page three finished by the end of August, right? Yes. Because then that'll give me four months to get uh, page four done. And yes, I need, I, I do in fact need 37 needle minders on every single piece I stitch. And last whip, which I barely put anything into, um, is Owl Forest Embroideries Atlantis. And it's still in my Q-snap, so forgive that. Uh, but I started working on some of the stuff above the seahorses because I couldn't bring myself to work on that house again. Uh, I know I'll have to get it done, but I just, when I put it in here, I was like, I know I'm not working on that house anymore right now. And this is being done with kit floss on the kit fabric, which is a blue Murano. 30, 32 count blue Murano of some sort from Zweigert, I believe. It's very soft. Okay, so that is it for my actual progress. Uh, plans. I'm going to get those other four, 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 um, Frosted Pumpkin pieces started so that I can get them all started like my plans suggested. Um, I need to, I need to get Peacock Keeper out for my zombie run. Uh, I need to get the rest of my stitches put into Atlantis for zombie run. Um, and I need to figure out what I'm taking a stitch con, like what I could feasibly work on. I know last year I took, or not last year, 2019. We're pretending 2020 doesn't exist. Uh, in 2019, I took every single whip, literally. And I worked on one thing. So I'm not doing that this time. <laughs> but uh, I am probably going to be taking more whips than I really need to. I'm thinking 10 is probably a good number. And uh, yeah, so... I should be able to record again before StitchCon, probably the Friday before StitchCon. I'm going to Weekend A, which is the 10th through the 13th. I'm actually leaving on Wednesday the 9th. So, um, but yeah, so I should be able to record and should have my whip choices finalized by then. So let's get into haul. Uh, first step. I have a bag of scraps, fabric scraps, from Diana. It is Kismet Stitches. She posted this up on her Instagram, and I snagged it because I have, one, been wanting to try, um, like, paper piecing 
either the, like the English paper piecing or which I which I believe is the hexagons or like the foundation paper piecing which is where you like make other shapes out of out of shapes um I've been wanting to try one of those and didn't want to go and buy a whole bunch of fabric for it I was gonna go buy like a charm pack or something like that well Diana put this up and I was like yes please and she included a couple of charm packs actually and then also too I've been wanting to make a fabric garland type of thing you know where you take like the scraps and you tie them around like another string or whatever um Carrie of House of Floss and Fluff does them quite a bit I believe and I wanted to do one of those and so this I think this is going to be perfect plus there's some stuff in there that I could use to finish stuff too um and I'm not going to go through all of it because that is a pain just know that Diana sent some pretty stuff uh second look at a little bit of haul here sorry I've got it all so Target one of my favorite places to get finishing stuff now even though I don't finish anything I just hoard all of it um this little basket they had I thought that would be really cute to display some little pillows it was only five dollars I'm not I'm not mad about that so it was in the it was in um what do they call it bullseye's playground used to be the dollar spot but not everything's a dollar anymore so that was fun and then I also went to the Dollar Tree um, and found some of this burlap ribbon stuff. Um, what is it made out of? Polyester. It's made of polyester and it's got like wiring on the top and bottom so it's uh, sort of like hold its shape. Um, but I thought it, it looks like burlap but it's colored. This one's a pink, this one's a like a tealy turquoisey green. Um, I got, uh, I got a burlap there that had like a little lace detail on it one time. And, um, so uh, check your Dollar Tree because I noticed they had a lot of craft stuff now. Um, they had like little wooden blank stuff. They had little like chalkboards. They have, uh, little bottles. They have beads. They have paint. They have all sorts of stuff that we could really we could use for for finishing so if you have a Dollar Tree near you go check it out and see what they have in you know in your area um and last but certainly not least on the haul I received a package from Patience um on Instagram she's known as Stitchin 304 um we most people know who Patience is I believe um so when I had talked about my milk glass um, flower frog, scissor frog, what is this called? I don't know. It's a bowl and it's got the holes and you put the scissors in it. And she said she had some old glass um, scissor frogs. So this is a flower frog. No, this is a scissor frog. These are the flower frogs. But anyway, she had one that fits perfectly into my milk glass because I couldn't find any. I looked at like three different Goodwills and I couldn't find any. So that was really nice of her. Um, and then she had also mentioned that she was playing around with some dye and wanted to, uh, wanted to send me whatever, cause she doesn't work on 28 count, but she wanted to play around with ice dyeing. And so she sent me that. And this one, which will be perfect for, like, a Halloween something or other. The colors are just absolutely beautiful. She did a great job. Uh, but then, of course, she didn't stop there. She had to send more stuff. Because that's what we do as stitchers, right? Hey, I'm sending you this. Let me just throw everything else in there. Um, she sent me this. I think it's knitted. Looks knitted. Um, I don't know what it, she didn't put a note in there to tell me exactly what it is. Um, but I've been using it as a mug rug because that's what it kind of looked like to me. So, uh, she also sent me this adorable little Christmas, um, project bag. It's a teeny little thing. It's a teeny little square thing. Um, and the fabric inside's got a little bit of sparkle to it. So that'd be perfect for like sticking a, a Christmas ornament in while you work on it. Uh, she also sent me this big-ass piece of 
something. Linen question mark. It kind of looks like burlap, but it's really, but it's softer than burlap. And she also sent me a fat quarter of um, 28 count cashel in murky from Picture This Plus, which is also good for Halloween. And she also sent me these adorable little scissors, which have a curved bit on them, a curved point, so that that way you can get really close to your stitches. And she also sent me a few patterns. So, oh, and a lovely card, beautiful butterfly. So yeah, she couldn't just stop at what she had agreed to send me, but you know, <laughs> it's okay. We always like to spoil our friends, don't we? I just love the stitching community. I'm just trying to put this stuff back in the bag real quick. I probably could have waited since I'm almost done with the video. But, you know, I don't do that. All right. So, I will see you guys again in a couple of weeks. Um, if you stuck around with me for this long, I'm doing a giveaway. So, please be 18. Please um, don't say giveaway in your comment or I'll have to delete it. I will ship anywhere in the world. Um, leave a comment below and tell me what your favorite thing about summer is because we are coming up on summer and this is a little summer design. So it is an artiste mini kit. Um, it's called Fruity Popsicles and it's a full kit. I haven't opened it, it's unopened, um, but yeah. So it's got 14 count white Ada, a needle, a pattern, instructions, all the floss, already organized on one of these little card things. So, tell me your favorite thing about summer. My favorite thing about summer? I don't like summer. <laughs> it is my least favorite season. Uh, my favorite thing about summer is when it's over and goes into fall. I don't like hot. I don't like bugs. This is when my allergies are the worst. So, um, being able to get my kids outside is about the only good thing about summer. So, that's what I'm going to say. But anyway... I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all staying healthy. And I will see you guys again in a couple of weeks. Bye.